Greetings DCS community and welcome back to my channel. I've been volunteering more and more with the uh, Collings Foundation as I mentioned in one of my previous videos. So today we're going to go check out some of the work that I've been doing with them. So let's go check this out. So part of the fun of doing this is getting to various panels and filters. Like those. So I'm in here on top of the right wing on just behind the wing root trying to access the last two hydraulic filters that we need to pull in order to do all of our inspections and following this we're going to be replacing filters and then doing the hydraulic servicing, uh, change the engine oil and just service the airplane uh, wherever else it needs for grease, air, any, any basic repairs that it needs for for what we're doing. hydraulic filter. So part of what I've been doing is working on some of the ground support equipment like this Dash 60 back here that does start air and electrical power for the Phantom. So it's not running quite right but let's 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 take a look at this. So what we got inside is a gas turbine engine and fun little fact this was also the APU used in a Boeing 727 and the earlier 737s so it's a pretty good runner but right now it's not coming up to full speed so I'm gonna try to look into that and see what's going on There's a centrifugal switch in here that I'm trying to get to and uh, first is try to locate this darn thing. So uh, let's see what we can do with this. All right, so here we go. We're gonna test operate the uh, air start unit. So you had to dig for it. So there's the tachometer there. Okay. That's the centrifugal switch assembly. Okay. It's that middle one and counterclockwise will decrease its set point. Clockwise. So I'm getting on according to this, I'm getting 96%. Is a red uh, green light coming on, load light? No, and that will never come on until that closes. So they can get to Yeah. 
And to go with that, the other inner, uh, so once that closes, that turns on, this runs up to 100% and it's fully governed. So it'll hold real tight to its numbers. Okay. And then the hour meter also starts ticking also. Okay, so, so you say you do a quarter inch, do you go in or out? Out. Okay, so what you're doing is tell them to keep going higher until? Oh, well, I'm decreasing the point where it'll actually switch. Okay. Yeah, but you do a quarter turn at a time according to the board. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right, test number two. Well, that was an awful lot of fun today, and I'm very happy that we got that Dash 60 as air start cart running because that'll definitely help out later uh, when we put all the panels back on. Uh, in an upcoming video, I'm going to uh, do a walk around with the F4 and all the panels open, so you guys will get to see what's going on inside the F4 Phantom. And uh, like many of you, I am also looking forward to Heat Blur's F4 Phantom release later this year. And especially now that I've been putting hands on the real one, I'm even more excited for it. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.